Well, hello everyone. Finally, I'm starting to get to uh, put the icon to use. Today, setting up the icon centrifugal, centrifugal gold concentrator. The icon is known for how well it captures fine gold. Fine gold recovery is the icon's thing. Today, we're not actually playing with the icon at all, though. We are mounting our first, our primary crusher. This is a 3x4 crusher from 911 Metallurgist. I was telling him he needs to get a actual name on it, brand it somehow, so it's called something rather than just a 3x4 jaw crusher. It needs to be the beast or something. But we're mounting it right now, up nice and high, because we're going to... Jaws. Dun, dun. Oh. That name's been taken. Yeah, probably. I was trying to do the theme music of Jaws there. It did go, it did go out right. So, uh, we're mounting up nice and high so gravity can do our work here. As it comes out of the jaw crusher, the primary crusher, it's going to go into an impact mill that's mounted down in front of it. It's over there somewhere. And then it is going to go into the Icon centrifugal concentrator, also known as a gravity concentrator. But today's job is mounting up the big jaw crusher, and once it's mounted, I'm going to show it to you in action. You need a hand there, Dad? No. Now, if you didn't see the unboxing video where I explained how the Icon uh, works, how a gravity or a centrifugal concentrator works, I'll leave a link here in this video. Just have to click on that little link in the top right corner and it will take you to the first video I did on the icon where I explained how this thing works. So it looks like we got the crusher all mounted up top there, all ready to go. Got a bucket full of rocks to crush. Dad's just about to start the generator up and head up top. Right now we're ju we just have a stepping stool to get up on top but we're going to have a set of stairs leading up the front. And we are putting a safety uh, railing around that deck so no one can accidentally fall off. But just want to show you the crusher in action, so let's go see how this works.
take the set that to fresh smaller. Oh yeah, all we have to do is adjust down here, mm -hmm. uh, and that we can crush it down to, uh, a, I think they say an eighth of an inch on this one. Well, I have it set I'd right like now to, for probably about three quarters of an inch. Yeah, if we could reduce that to about five eighths or half. You saw that the rock I gave you? It was a half an inch thick, banged down fine, but it came down an edge and stopped. Right. And it didn't clear. The little, yeah, the little we, guys roll all, right. All it, all it takes is uh, adjusting this to any size we want. And I brought a big wrench to do that. Do we have to undo anything to do nope. that? No, you just, you just tweak it in. It certainly takes a big wrench. It takes a big wrench, oh yeah. <laughs> it's strong, look at the size of thread that's in there. So the load is on that thread? Or is that? No, it's not this. No, the load is on the eccentric, really. Yeah, okay, yeah. Some of it's on the thread, but most of it's on the yeah, eccentric. Yeah. And that's pretty hard granite that we're throwing through oh, there. That's that not the quartz enough. that we would uh, normally be running through this. It didn't warm anything up, so we're good there. Yeah. Is that wrench handy? Let's... Uh, it depends on where I put it. I don't really remember where I put it. Let's go find it. How tight is that? So, crushes really nicely. Uh, you can see a little pile of crush we made down here. We have it set right now to be about three quarters of an inch crush. Because we're going to be feeding out of that into the impact mill, and we just want about three quarter inch rocks going into the impact mill. Um, the jaw crusher is definitely going to be the slow point of the whole system. So the bigger we can set it, the faster it will go through the rocks. The impact mill should be able to handle anything we throw at it, and we're still and we're not even close to using the capability of the icon. The icon can do, I think it's two tons per hour through there. So we're not even getting close to using all of its capability. But the whole system will be from the jaw crusher there into the impact mill once it's in place there. Then right out of the impact mill into the intake of the icon. Obviously the icon will separate out all the fine gold and then discharge which we have set going down to our tailings pond that I dug just a couple days ago. And we'll recirculate the water, circulate the water from the tailings pond back to the icon. Do it all over again. And do it all over again, yes. So our next step is to set up a shelf, if you will, a platform halfway between the two of these that the impactor can uh, sit on. We've already got footings in place, just got to build it up now. Got the deck almost made. Measured it perfectly so the discharge of the jaw crusher is gonna perfectly go into the hopper of the impact mill. Just gotta put some decking on it there. The footings have been concreted in today, so they're not, probably best to leave it today anyways. Let those harden. And if we find it right, the outfeed of the impact mill will travel down perfectly into the icon. We are thinking for the icon, for the input here on the icon of removing this clamp, pulling this hose off and feeding it down around the bottom so that the input can come down rather than having to go up this high. But we'll see. Well, we seem to be packing up for the day. We're, all, we're very, very tired. But the crusher is in place, well, the primary crusher. The 3x4 jaw crusher from 911 Metallurgist. The shelf is ready for the impact mill. And the icon is in place. Concrete all around the pallet, so it's going to stay nice and firm. We didn't want to put the impact mill on quite yet because, well, there's fresh paint and fresh concrete underneath the footing. So we'll wait till next day to put the impact mill in place and then start connecting all of them together. Great fun. And yes, the jaw crusher does need a name. It needs a branding type name. Any of my viewers out there, if you want to suggest a really good name for a 3x4 jaw crusher? And appropriate logo. And appropriate logo, sure, why not? Leave a comment here in this video.
I will forward on the best choice of names to the manufacturer. Name, logo. Oh yeah, perfect spot to put a name and logo. And, and the fellow that submitted it. Oh, we could even put his name on it for you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so if you have a good name for the jaw crusher, leave it in a comment in the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And until we get the impact mill in place, which should be soon.